Alright, he's patrolling now. He wants me to put an electric motor on it. Fix it up where he can steer it with his teeth. And he also wants a set of leathers and an aviator's cap with zippers on the side where his ears can hang out. He's fixing to get messed up there, but that's temporary, hopefully. You can see where they opened him up. Got a nasty scar there. He wants plastic surgery too. But hopefully this is just temporary. He goes for two weeks intensive therapy starting Monday. Hopefully he'll be walking. All right, y'all. I previously showed you the short bolt, 22 short bolt for a Ruger 1022. And I, after I showed the bolt, I reinstalled it in the gun, went outside and made a shooting video. It fired flawlessly. Uh, two magazines. And I brought it inside and was fixing to put it up and upload the video. And I heard something rattling and uh, opened up, took it apart, opened up the action. I thought maybe a pin had fallen out. And uh, what had happened is that shoe that's on the bottom of this bolt, you'll see it in a minute, it had fallen off. And I looked at it and, it, you know, it looked like it had been glued on to me, so... I called Volkortzen and I asked them if I could just JB weld it back on there and they uh, said no uh, send it back to us so that was on a Monday I mailed it to them on a Monday they got it Wednesday and on Wednesday they sent me a brand new one uh, I got it in reinstalled it in the gun went outside to make the shooting video I fired two magazines, two 10 round magazines, and um, the little 22 short magazines, okay? And uh, I was came in and was fixing to upload the video. Went to put the gun up and um, heard something rattling again. I took it apart. That shoe had fallen off. So I called Volkortzen and told them what had happened and by the way they were a real nice company to deal with uh, they didn't give me a hard time they didn't question me and uh, they said well we'll be happy to refund your money and I told them I said I don't want a refund I like the concept I, you know I want the short the short bolt so they said, well, send us back the barrel and the action. So I said, uh, I don't see what the barrel's got to do with it. And they said, well, we want everything to see what the problem is. We've never had this happen before. So I sent them the whole shooting match. And um, they kept it about two weeks and, or a week and a half. And um, then I got a invoice no charge you know through the email system and uh, they said that uh, they had tested it uh, and modified the boat so I sent John Volkortzen a note <clears throat> and I asked him what the problem was and he said they weren't a hundred percent sure but they had never had that problem and um, but they had modified the bolt and sent it back to me and I'm just doing this for full disclosure and tell you everything and as you can see what they did was what I was thinking about doing originally they have gone in there and countersunk 
a screw on each side there okay and I, I hope they uh, put some Loctite on there I'm not gonna loosen those to find out but they put that in there to hold that bolt down where it will not budge and um, so what I'm gonna do now and I feel comfortable with it um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it back in the gun and uh, we're fixing to go shoot this thing and I feel comfortable that it will not come out of there now and to be honest with you I think this is better than uh, the way it was before but um, if you are thinking about getting one of these uh, <clears throat> you, you might want to call them and discuss it with them uh, again I don't know what caused it but it fired flawlessly and I have shot it 50 times now I haven't fired it since but I mean it operated fine so uh, as long as that shoe that protects that bolt uh, in the cocking process uh, stays put which I'm sure it will um, I don't see that I'll have any problems so let's go see what it looks like when it shoots all right y'all there it is 22 short bolt 22 short mag that's 29 grain aguila let's see what it does all right it works well now if you're asking yourself would you get it again considering the problems at first absolutely I need it because there'll be a can there in a month or so and I want to be able to shoot shorts and as you can see it fires flawlessly I don't hear anything rattling in there so the problems been solved and it's good to go I appreciate y'all watching let me give you a picture of the target up there. They're all over the place, as can be expected. There they are. All right there. Now with the rest, I do better, but uh, it is what it is. But it worked perfectly. I appreciate y'all watching. Catch you later. Bye.